up and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how to create this makeup look as i have mentioned in the title i'm going to create this complete makeup look using l'oreal products so if you want to know what are all the products i have picked and how it turned out for me then please continue watching this video and before getting into the video if you have not subscribed to my channel please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and if you're not following me in instagram then do check out my instagram page and follow me there as well and also also don't forget to participate in the giveaway contest participation criteria is very very simple all you have to do is subscribe to this channel and follow me in my instagram page that's it it's very simple so yeah without further anything let's quickly jump into the video First, I'm going to start off with this lip and cheek tint, which is my ultimate favorite. This one is from the brand Earth Rhythm. So it is in the shade Brandy. This one is called as lip and cheek tint, but exactly not that typical uh, lip and cheek kind of things. I highly like using this one as a lip balm because it has got that balmy texture. Now I am done with the lip moisturization. Next, I'm going to start off with toning my face, for which I'll be using this Nia Cinnamide and Green Tea Calming Toner. This product is my ultimate favorite. This works really well for my skin, especially if you're oily and acne prone skin. This works really, really well. So I'm going to spritz it all throughout my face. now we are done with the toning part next i'm quickly going to use a serum today for serum i'll be using this minimalist 10 percent niacinamide serum if you have acne on your skin and you want a very good skincare product that will really work on your acne issues then you can definitely check this out this one has definitely helped in improvising the texture of my skin And this one worked really well on controlling the acne issue which I had for years and years. Now I'm applying it all throughout my face. Niacinamide serum will definitely work in controlling your acne issues but there is also another interesting property of niacinamide serum uh, which most of the people doesn't know uh, if you have a foundation which oxidizes very badly then you can apply niacinamide serum before applying your foundation so that your foundation will not get oxidized so yeah now uh, i'm done with the serum part next i'm quickly going to moisturize my skin for which i'll be using my most favorite moisturizer so this is the one it is a nutriderm moisturizing lotion this has vitamin e which is really good for your skin so if you have sensitivity issues and if you look for a primer come moisturizer then you can definitely invest in this one it's amazing moisturizer So now I have moisturized my skin really well. Next I'm going to do my under eye moisturization for which I'll be using the Hydrafresh Antiox Grape and Seed Hydrating Mask in Eye Gel. So this is how the product looks like. It is in gel consistency. I have already started using this product and it gives that very nice cooling effect uh, on your under eyes. So yeah, now I'm done with my under eye moisturization. Next, I'm quickly going to prime my face for which I'll be using this L'Oreal Base Magic Transforming Soothing Primer. This primer is little different from all the primers that I have. It has this bouncy texture. So I'm going to prime my face using this primer. So this primer will definitely help in smoothing your skin and it also mattifies. So now we are done with the face priming part. If you have oily skin, if your skin oils up like a disco ball within few hours of your makeup, then I would highly recommend you to try this primer. It is really, really good. It just blurs and mattifies your skin. And also if you have a lot of texture issues on your skin, then this is again a high recommendation from my end. Next, we quickly going to jump into color correction. In L'Oreal, we don't have any color correctors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this makeup revolution conceal and correct orange color corrector. So yes, I'm taking this orange color corrector. 
and applying it on the areas where I have hyperpigmentation, dark circles and uh, basically on the areas where I have darkness issue. So the orange color corrector will help in cancelling darkness. Now I'm blending this orange color corrector using my fingers which is basically a very simple and easy way of blending. If you are using a sponge then it is definitely going to suck the product and you will end up using a lot of orange color corrector. So if you want to have a control over your color correction technique then I would highly recommend you to use your fingers. So now we are done with the color correction. Next we are going to use a foundation. For foundation I am going to use this L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in shade Hazelnut. This one is very very thin liquid consistency. Oh wow. This foundation is seriously so good. If you have very sensitive, oily, acne prone skin, if you're looking for a very light weight foundation, then this is my recommendation. I would highly recommend you to try this one. It's very, very lightweight, very thin liquid in consistency. You'll not feel like you're wearing something on your skin. So yeah, I really, really like this foundation. And I'm in shade Hazelnut, shade number 330. So now we are done with the foundation part. Next I'm going to apply concealer. So for concealer, I'm going to use this one. This one is the L'Oreal Infallible Sylvia Concealer. So in this concealer, I've picked the shade Almond and the shade number is 317. This one is the last darkest shade available in this range and unfortunately it's way more lighter for my skin tone. So I think I need to work. So I really don't know how it is going to sit on my skin because this is the first time I'm using this concealer. Uh, oh, this is a way, way lighter. Now I want to start off by using very minimal quantity because I really don't know how this is going to work because it's way more lighter than my skin tone. So yeah. I think if you're of my skin tone and if I've already purchased this concealer then you can definitely uh, you know use it but all you have to do is you need to use very less quantity of this concealer and uh, it can work with this one. So now we are done with the concealer. Next, I'm quickly going to apply compact. So for this, I'll be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder in shade number 600 and the shade name is Golden Beige. So this is how the compact looks like. It's a really good match for my skin tone. And this is the last darkest shade available in this range. So for applying the powder, I'm going to use my beauty sponge. I really, really love using beauty sponge to apply my compact powder because it gives a really smooth matte finish. So now I'm done with setting my face. Next I'm going to do my eyebrows. Next for my eyebrows, I'll be using the L'Oreal Brow Artist Expert Eyebrow Pencil. So this is how the eyebrow pencil looks like. It has the product on one side, on the other end it has a spoolie. Now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows using this eyebrow definer. It's very very smooth. And 
that I'm done with my eyebrows. This eyebrow pencil is really really good. It works amazingly well. What I've noticed is this eye pencil is very different from the rest of the eye pencils that I have used. It is not at all waxy. It glides very smoothly and it is very very pigmented. So just one stroke application is more than enough. So if you're looking for a very smooth one stroke application kind of eyebrow pencil then I would highly recommend you to try this one. I think I'm in the shade dark brown. I don't remember the shade name. So I'll put all the links in the description box. You can definitely go ahead and check it there. Next I'm quickly going to do my eye makeup. So for my eye makeup I'll be using this eyeshadow palette from L'Oreal and the variant that I'm going to use is called Maximalist. So the color theme of this eyeshadow palette is like this. It has got this warm neutrals. First I'm going to start off with this shade. It is a nice coral shade. So I'm going to use this one as a transition shade. Next, I'm going to take uh, this uh, dark smoked purple kind of shade and I'm going to apply it on the inner and outer corners. Next, I'm going to take the same orange shade and then I'm going to smooth out the harsh edges. Next, I'm going to use this shade on the mid of my eyelids. So yes, now we are done with the eye makeup. Next, I'm going to uh, use a kajal on my upper and lower waterline, for which I'll be using this L'Oreal Kajal Magic Bold Kajal. So now I'm done with applying my kajal. Next I'm going to line my eyes using this L'Oreal Matte Signature Eyeliner. Next, I'm going to apply mascara for which I'll be using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. This one is my ultimate favorite mascara and it is somewhat similar to the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So if you're looking for an affordable option or a dupe for Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, then I would highly recommend you to try this one. Now I'm going to apply mascara on my eyelashes. What I basically do is I'll coat my upper and lower eyelashes in a wiggling motion and then with the rest of the product, I'll coat my eyelashes eyebrows as well so that my eyebrows will look very defined and you know nice so with that the eye makeup is completely done next i'm going to get back to my face makeup now i'm going to bronze my face for my skin tone there is no proper bronzer available in l'oreal so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this bronzer this one is the mua makeup academy bronzer in shade 130 solar so this is how the bronzer looks like So now we are done with the bronzing part and next I'm quickly going to add some blush on my cheeks for which I'll be using this L'Oreal Libara blush in shade B Fierce and this is how the shade looks like. Wow. This one is an amazing blush. This shade is really really good. It's a deeper skin tone girl. I have another beautiful blush shade recommendation for you guys. This is such a stunning pretty color for deeper complexion. Next I'm quickly going to add a little bit of highlighter on my high points for which I'll be using this L'Oreal Lee Barra highlighter in shade Be Brave. This is how the shade Be Brave looks like.
so yes that's it we are done with the highlighting part uh, so we just have one more step to wind up this makeup look uh, so yeah as you guys know the final step is lipstick so for lipstick today i'm going to use a couple of shades first i'm going to use the l'oreal moist matte lipstick in shade mon jules Then I'm going to top up the shade using the L'Oreal Root Signature Liquid Lipstick in shade I Need. So that's it, we are done with the lipstick part as well. So that's it, we are done with this makeup look and this is how it finally turned out. So yeah, I really really love how this makeup turned out like my lip shade, my eyeshadow and then my base makeup, everything all together it worked really really well. So yeah, hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video. If you really like this video, please give a big thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to follow me in my Instagram. So next time with another beautiful content, I'll meet you guys and let's bye from Priya. Bye bye.